with an high arm board. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you, 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 feareth God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. And beckoning with his hand, uh, and said, Men of Israel, right? And ye that fear God, give audience. And listen. The God of the people of Israel, this is clear, the people of Israel. And whosoever among you. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechaha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Sasia, salute and honors to your brethren. Shalom, peace to you, even you, you sisters supporting cast of the truth, and you followers. Shalom to the elect. So anyway, I want to go back on the second edition of this video, back into the Gentiles. In the proselytes on this guy Israelite only camp killer but I want to read a comment real quick before we get started so you know anybody who doesn't know we can go into it and break it down and get a better understanding of what a proselyte what a proselyte is and um, what's going on with this doctrine uh, it says a comment from this channel's page it says his name is Elder Samuel. Shalom, elders, brothers and sisters. Elders of Israel will debate. He says, I will debate IUIC or any other camp on the subject about Gentiles getting into the kingdom. First of all, you got to know what Gentile mean, right? Or proselyte. We will debate only so-called bishops, so-called deacons. <laughs> It has to be live. That way they cannot alter or cut or delete the videos. Now all you Christians have had chance to come to the camp. You came to our camps. You, you went live. You cut your videos because you keep getting embarrassed, right? Because it's all about going into the, the layers of the scripture, not just the front universal part of it. Go into the whole thing. Again, elders of Israel will defend the spiritual law to let IUIC know that the Gentiles are joint heirs to the kingdom if they convert to God. Okay, I just wanted to read that ridiculous comment before I go further to tie into the lesson. Now, we want to go into the word, um, this word homonym. Homonym is a word that has said, that is spelled the same way as another word, but has different in meaning, like tie or your tie, T I E, or tie like a race, or tie when you put a necktie around your neck. In the context of the sentence, we have to be able to understand what tie is this pertaining to. This is the same thing with Gentile, this is the same thing with stranger. Gentile, a Latin word meaning a stranger as well, right? So, I want to go back to Acts 13 26. This is what the original argument was. Uh, maybe I ought to get, um, pull, just pull it up real quick. Um, let's go to Acts 13, 26. So this is where the argument is, okay? Um, this says, men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham and whosoever among you, fear of God. To you is the word, uh, word of this salvation sent. Okay, so now and I did a previous video prior to that going into some commentary so what I want to do um, is go back into some more commentary you'd be surprised what the scholars think right it's what we've known all along but nobody goes and do research you know nobody pays attention they see the word whosoever let's give you an example I'm gonna get an example real quick Acts 13 and 26 you'll see the same thing in Acts 13 and 16 it says here, uh, then Paul stood up and beckoned with his hand and, with his hand and said, Men of Israel, and ye that fear God, give audience. Now, what I didn't know is what it meant by ye that fear God. We'll get into that too. Okay, so let's go to um, 
I'm going to jump into that real quick first. Okay. Um, now, this is the Matthew Poole's commentary. It says, and ye that fear God besides the native Jews, right? The proselytes. Why well, I say it's besides the native Jews, you know, the native Jews and you had other Jews. But we'll get into that too. And it says, and such out of all nations who left the idolatry of Gentiles. See, this sounds like everybody, right? And serve the only true God met together to worship uh, to the worship of God. And these were the uh, subominio, uh, it says subominoi, subominoi, spoken in Acts 17 and 4. It also, it shows also that they are to do that would hear the word of the Lord with, with profit to attend unto it to fear his name, right? So I looked up that word, so, so bomnoi, uh, it doesn't even have a, I mean, I can't get an online etymology, I can't get it anywhere, so I just went to Google and Wikipedia, that this word meant God fears, right? God worshipers. Now, what this also go to is, was numerous class of Gentiles sympathized uh, Hellenistic Judaism. Now, Hellenistic Judaism was a form of Judaism in classical antiquity that combined Jewish religion traditions with the elements of the Greek culture. And this is why on Paul's first mission, I believe, Asia Minor, they didn't believe in the prophets. That's why he said, um, uh, Yahweh Shai even said in Matthew 5 and 17, think not I come to destroy the law or the prophets, Right? So these God-fearers were uh, Hellenistic Jews. Now the Hellenistic Jew, as we go in Acts 6 and 1, were also Grecians against Hebrews, which actually meant uh, Greek-speaking Jews who adopted Greek along with the practice of Judaism. It says Hellenistic Judaism that existed in the Greco-Roman world which observed certain Jewish religion rites and traditions without becoming full converts to Judaism. The concept was the precedence in the proselytes of the Hebrew Bible. Many of the Greek, Greek, Greco-Roman sympathizers to Hellenistic Judaism with a mono theistic pagan background and worshiper of Calius, the Roman name for the equivalent to Yahweh. It says Yahweh. So you see where it goes? And this is why we went to West Africa, we went to different places, Europe and wherever we went, we adopted along with some of our tradition, Hellenistic practices to other religions and beliefs. We've even doing that now. The, the actual Christian doctrine is a Hellenistic doctrine indoctrinated into um, Christianity from Hebrews, right? Because that's where it all typically, typically come from, the worship of our God. But they've managed to have us worship different gods. But us Israelites, we've lost all of that, and then we've adopted a whole new custom of practice. We, only, we wasn't only adopted to it, we were forced into it, right? So... When you go into the McLaren's expedition, it says the extended report of Paul's sermon in the synagogue of the Antioch. Uh, it says the first preaching of Asia Minor. It says his audience comprised of the familiar, comprised the two familiar classes of Jews, right? The Gentile proselytes. So you had the Jews, and then you had the ones who believers, and then you had some who didn't believe. Then you even had a, a portion of them who mixed Judaism or uh, being a Hebrew with the Greek culture. So that was when you go to Acts 13 and 6, 16, and it says, um, and see, Paul knew this. He knew this. And he, he was speaking to the ones, some of the ones who knew they was Hebrew Israelites. That's why he said men and brethren and to the stock of Abraham. They knew, but they was practicing another form of so-called Judaism. Uh, it says, Then Paul stood up and beckoned with his hand to the 
his hand and said, Men of Israel and ye that fear God, give audience. And this is, they were called the God fearers. Right? Uh, Sabomnio, Sabomnio, Nooi, I can't even pronounce it. It's not even a word that you can even put up, but it's actually meant as a God fearer, that actually meant Hellenistic Judaism. Right? So I wanted to get that straight. We're also going to go to um, uh, right here. Uh, it says, here renewed affectionate tones. And here at 1316, both Jews and proselytes are two classes. <laughs> right? That's what it says. The Jews and proselytes are two classes. They were Gentile proselytes, uh, some of them would, which we call God fearers. Right? Here, both regarded by Paul, see critical notes. It says, some take it as making a sharp antithesis. Uh, I did the video yesterday on antithesis. A difference, a opposition is what it's called. Between the Jews and the Antioch and those of Jerusalem. The Jews of Antioch and those of Jerusalem. So you had two different classes of Jews. You could even say more. So we're going to go to the Barnes and Noble. It says, men and brethren, Paul now exhorts them to embrace the Lord Yahawashah, says Jesus, as the Messiah. He uses, therefore, the most respectful and fraternal language, children of the stock of Abraham, descendants of Abraham. You are regard you who regard Abraham as your ancestor. So what I found out, that's why I'm doing this second video. Those, those, this, when he said the descendants of Abraham, those were Israelites who knew they were Israelites, but they were into practicing Hellenistic Judaism. Some of our people were strictly in the Greek. Some of us adopted Hebrew to Greek. He means here to address particularly the native born Jews. And these appellation is used because they valued themselves highly on account of their descent from Abraham. And because to the promise that was made, uh, especially given to him. It says, and whosoever the proselytes, right? This is where it gets interesting. In the word, this is where it says, and whosoever means the proselytes. Uh, it says, in the word of this salvation sent, the message of salvation, it was sent particularly to the Jewish people, right? <laughs> the Savior was sent to that nation, Matthew 15, 24, right? And to design um, the message, Acts 13, 46. So we all should know Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said unto them, but I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And there's more, right? There's more. So let's go. I'm going to get another one. It's so many of them. Um, let's go to the Matthew Poole's commentary. It says, men and brethren, he speaks to the Jews according as the manner was almost amongst uh, uh, um, was amongst them it says he speaks to the Jews according to the manner uh, was amongst them to the Jews uh, he became as a Jew whosoever among you fear of God some think the devout Pisidians uh, Pis or men of that country are here met but rather it may institute the apostles hope concerning these Jews that they were such as feared God, which hope they ought to rather to have carefully answered. So, um, well, I just read the Matthew Poole's commentary down, commentary, commentary down here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the point. Those Jews and, um, uh, those proselytes, well, let me get it again in Acts 6 and 1. I mean, um, you know what? I'm going to get another one. I always pull Acts 6 and 1. Let's get another one. So we can see when Paul said to the Jew first and then to the Greek, the Grecians, right? 
you had different classes of Jews. This makes sense. When we go here, those those Greeks were adopted into Helen. Uh, they were Hellenistic Jews, and who solely, when you see Greek, a lot of them solely practiced the uh, the Greek customs. But then you had the Grecians who practice partial Hebrew, partial Greek. Let's read this, Acts 11 and 20. And some of them were men in Cyprus and Cyrene, which when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Jesus Christ, Yahawashah. So why did they speak to the Grecians? Everybody, because a lot of you people are captured by white supremacism. Every time you see Greek, it's just a white man or another nation. Let's go on down and look at this word. If you can't get it, then you can't get it. That word Grecian goes back to Hellenistes. Here we go. This is what the translator said. One who imitates the manners and the customs of the worship of the Greeks and use the Greek tongue used in the New Testament of Jews born in foreign lands and speaking Greek. How much more proof do you need than that? That's all I have on that. Shalom.